Hi everybody, I'm Miss Aldridge. Miss Swafford. Miss Reed. And Miss Klein. Today we're going to talk to you about the MAP scores that are going home. Your children, um, since last year, have participated in an assessment that we use for benchmarking here at CVE called the MAPS. It assesses both reading and mathematics. And today, this week, you're going to be receiving a report that shows you your student growth. And this video is going to explain to you how to read that report so you better understand how your students are progressing. Um, I do want to go ahead and lay out for you that the scores are a little bit different from milestones. I think we're also going to send home a copy of your students' fourth grade milestones, but the scores on milestones are very different from the ones on the maps. And so you'll find on this uh, report today that there is going to be a range of average range where we want your students to perform on the maps, and it's different for math and reading. For math, <laughs> this slide is showing you. Um, for math, we want your students to perform between the score of 210 and 222. And for reading, we would like for your students to score between 205 and 216. That shows that your student is performing on average. If your students are performing lower than those averages, then um, we have some suggestions for you. And if they are scoring higher, then they are on track for passing the milestones. I want to explain to you the report that you're going to receive. Uh, there's going to be two different sets of bar graphs. The top one is going to be for mathematics, and depending on how long your child has been at CBE and participated in the MAPS benchmark, is going to be uh, based. It's going to decide how many bars that they have here. So this uh, particular child has been with us, and so her scores uh, are going to show uh, winter of fourth grade, spring of fourth grade. Uh, fall of fifth grade and winter of fifth grade. So if you're looking at the two different colors, the blue bar graph represents your child and their achievement uh, compared to the yellow bar with peers of their same, um, same age. So um, you can kind of see where they are. Uh, we really want you to look at the fifth grade uh, scores, which would be the fall 19 and the uh, winter 20. Um, it gives you a nice layout of, of how they did and how well they met those benchmarks. So the top <laughs> ones are going to be your mathematics and the reading uh, bar graphs are going to be your ELA and reading. Ms. Reed's going to talk to you about um, the domains. Underneath each bar graph, you're going to see where mathematics and reading is broken down, broken down into the different domains. So for example, in mathematics, you're going to see operations and algebraic thinking measurement and data, number and operations, and geometry. And so based on the performance of your child's um, answers to these kinds of questions in each domain, it gives them some kind of range of how they perform. So for example, in measurement and data, you might see high, whereas in geometry, you might see low. So that would tell you that your child's strength is in measurement and data and you need, uh, your child needs to work in um, geometry. Same thing for um, reading, it breaks it down into three different domains with literature, which would be your fiction text, um, informational text, which would be your nonfiction text, and then vocabulary usage. And again, it will give you ranges such as high, low, average. Obviously, you want your child to be in the average range. So anything that says low, that's what you need to focus on, or at least know that that's what your child is um, struggling with according to the maps. Also underneath the reading, it's going to be in a gray shaded part. At the very bottom, it's going to say Lexile range. And in order for your child to be performing on a fifth grade reading level, the Lexile range needs to indicate at least an 840 to a 920. By the end of fifth grade, we do want children to be able to have a 920 um, Lexile range. And this is a good indicator of what your child is doing. Um, January of 2020, which was when this test was taken. There are several different ways you can help your child at home. Um, we have several different websites that your child may use to help them grow on the maps as well as the milestones. In math, you can use Spreckle. It's broken into the domains just as the map score is. So if you see that your child is struggling in measurement and data, that area can be worked on on Spreckle. Moby Maps is another one. Multiplication.com. If your child is struggling with multiplication facts, they need to be studying those nightly. They help with all of our domains. An education galaxy. This one can be used for all areas, including science and social studies. In reading, you can do Freckle, 
Once again, it's broken into different domains. Moby Max, there is a reading area in ELA, language, just about everything. Read theory, this one is big, we like it. And once again, Education Galaxy. And your child has all usernames and passwords for all of those um, online subscriptions that CVE does pay for. It's also located in the agenda, agenda, agenda binder. binder. Agenda binder. <laughs> agenda binder. <laughs> agenda binder. <laughs> we appreciate your time and watching this video. If you uh, comment to this video either on YouTube or on Dojo, we will have a reward for your student. We appreciate your feedback. Um, if you have any questions, of course, you can always call us, email us, um, dojo us. Absolutely. And get in touch with us. We love to communicate with you and we appreciate your communication with us. And that's it. That's Thank all for you. Max. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Bye.